The American Bully breed is a fascinating and diverse group of dogs that have been selectively bred for specific traits and appearances. Originating in the United States in the early 1990s, the breed was developed by crossing various breeds such as the American Staffordshire Terrier, American Pit Bull Terrier, and the American Bulldog, among others. The breeders aim to create a more muscular, stocky, and powerful dog with a loyal and friendly temperament. Today, the American Bully breed is known for its distinct physical appearance, which includes a wide chest, thick neck, muscular legs, and a short, stocky body. There are several well-established bloodlines within the American Bully breed, each with its own unique characteristics and traits. These bloodlines have been developed over the years by different breeders who have carefully selected dogs with specific genetic attributes to create their ideal version of the American Bully. In this article, we will delve deeper into four of the most prominent bloodlines, Razor's Edge, Gotti Line, Remy Line, and Dax Line. Razor's Edge. The Razor's Edge bloodline was founded in the mid-1990s by Dave Wilson and Carlos Barksdale. They started by breeding American Pit Bull Terriers and later incorporated other breeds, such as the American Staffordshire Terrier and the American Bulldog, to create their vision of the perfect American bully. The Razor's Edge bloodline is known for producing dogs with a wide chest, short back, and a shorter, more powerful build. These dogs are also recognized for their balanced and calm temperament, making them excellent family pets. Razor's Edge dogs are often described as having a clean look, with a well-proportioned body and a smooth, even coat. The bloodline has contributed significantly to the development of the breed, and many of today's top American bullies can trace their lineage back to this influential line. Gotti Line The Gotti Line bloodline was established in 1997 by Richard Barajas. It originated with a famous American bully named Gotteline's Romeo, who was also known as 21 Blackjack. Gotti Line dogs are typically larger and more muscular than some other bloodlines, with a distinct, thick head structure. They are also known for their wide chests, powerful legs, and a stocky, compact build. The Gotti Line bloodline has become incredibly popular and has produced many notable dogs within the breed. As a result, Gotti Line has had a significant impact on the appearance and genetics of the American Bully breed as a whole. Remy Line The Remy Line bloodline was founded in 2002 by Fabian Chichester. Its origin can be traced back to a famous American Bully named Remy Martin, who was known for his impressive size, broad head, and pronounced cheeks. Remy Line dogs are renowned for their large, muscular build, wide heads, and strong, powerful legs. They also possess an energetic and lively temperament, making them popular with owners who enjoy an active lifestyle. The Remy Line bloodline has produced many top quality dogs within the breed, and its influence can be seen in numerous American bully pedigrees. Dax Line the Dax Line bloodline has made a significant impact in the American bully world, as breeders and enthusiasts alike appreciate the line's unique characteristics. These dogs are known not only for their physical traits, but also for their confident and outgoing personalities, which make them excellent family companions and show dogs. Over the years, the Dax Line bloodline has continued to evolve as breeders have selectively bred for specific traits, ensuring the line remains distinct and true to its original characteristics. The dogs are typically shorter and stockier than other American bully lines, with a strong focus on muscle development, giving them an imposing yet athletic appearance. Continuing with our discussion of the American Bully bloodlines, it is important to understand that the breeding process and selection for specific traits have led to the creation of various categories within the breed. The American Bully is classified into four main size categories. Pocket. Pocket American Bullies are the smallest of the breed, measuring 17 inches or shorter at the withers for males and 14 to 16 inches for females. Despite their smaller stature, these dogs still possess the muscular, stocky build and broad head that are characteristic of the breed. Standard Standard American bullies are the most common size, with males measuring between 17 to 20 inches at the withers and females between 16 to 19 inches. 
These dogs maintain the well-proportioned, muscular build that the breed is known for, without being overly large or bulky. Classic. Classic American bullies have a similar height range as the standard variety but tend to have a lighter build, with less muscle mass and a leaner appearance. They maintain the breed's distinct features, such as a wide chest and thick neck, but are not as heavily muscled as their counterparts. XL Extra Large The XL American Bully is the largest of the breed, with males measuring 20 to 23 inches at the withers and females 19 to 22 inches. These dogs have a powerful, muscular build and a more pronounced, heavy set appearance compared to the other size varieties. While these are the primary size classifications, it is essential to remember that each bloodline can produce dogs with a range of physical attributes, and individual dogs may not always fit neatly into one specific category. The American Bully breed is continually evolving, with breeders striving to improve and refine the breed's characteristics. Health and temperament are also crucial factors that breeders consider when developing bloodlines. American bullies are generally known for their friendly, affectionate, and loyal nature, making them excellent family pets. They are also intelligent and can be easily trained with positive reinforcement techniques. As with any breed, it is essential to maintain the health and well-being of the American bully through regular veterinary checkups, a balanced diet, and consistent exercise. Some potential health concerns for the breed include hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, heart issues, and allergies. Responsible breeding practices can help minimize the risk of these health issues. In conclusion, the American Bully is a diverse and fascinating breed with a rich history and various bloodlines contributing to its unique appearance and characteristics. The breed's loyal, friendly temperament and striking physical traits make it a popular choice for dog enthusiasts worldwide. To find farms and breeders selling American Bully bloodline-specific dogs, it's essential to conduct research at both local and international levels. Here are some of the leading breeders for the American Bully bloodlines. Razor's Edge Dave Wilson, the founder of Razor's Edge, is associated with Razor's Edge Kennel, which breeds and sells Remy Line and Razor's Edge dogs. Gotti Line Richard Barajas, the founder of the Gotti Line bloodline, is connected to the breeding operation Westside Kennels. Remy Line Fabian Chichester, the founder of the Remy Line bloodline, is associated with Remy Line Kennels, which breeds and sells Remy Line dogs. Dax Line the Dax Line bloodline is based on a dog named Dax, produced by Ed Shepard. Ed Shepard is associated with Dax Line bullies, which breeds and sells Dax Line dogs. In addition to these breeders, there are numerous other farms and breeders that breed and sell American bully dogs. To find a good breeder, it's essential to Conduct research, search the internet to gather information on reputable American bully breeders and farms operating at local and international levels. Contact local dog clubs and associations. Dog clubs and associations in your area can provide information on local breeders and farms and help you find a trustworthy breeder. Check reviews and references. To assess the reputation of the breeder or farm, verify reviews and references from people who have been customers in the past. Communicate with the breeder and visit, contact potential breeders to obtain information on the health conditions of their dogs, the genetic history of the parents, and breeding practices. If possible, visit the farm to observe the living conditions of the dogs. Finally, before deciding to adopt a dog, it's essential to be informed about the future puppy's health condition, genetic history, and the selections made for good temperament. A responsible breeder will always prioritize the welfare and good health of their dogs and maintain open and transparent communication with buyers. Finding a good breeder and purchasing a dog from a reliable farm will help ensure your new pet leads a healthy and happy life. Here are some important considerations when buying a dog from a reputable breeder. Health Guarantee A good breeder usually offers a guarantee on the health of their puppies. This can include assurances for genetic diseases and birth defects for specific periods. Vaccination and health records. Ensure that the breeder regularly administers vaccinations and health checkups for their puppies. This information should be provided alongside the puppy's health records.
Socialization Early socialization for puppies helps them adapt and interact with others. Make sure the breeder places importance on socializing the puppies with humans and other dogs. Parents' health and temperament Get information on the health conditions and temperaments of the parent dogs. This can provide important clues about the potential health issues and temperament traits of the puppy. Contract A good breeder typically signs a sales contract with buyers. This contract outlines your responsibilities regarding the dog's health and care conditions and the breeder's guarantees. Support and consultation. A good breeder will be willing to stay in touch and provide support and consultation even after you purchase the dog. Considering all these factors, you can find a reputable American bully breeder or farm and enjoy a happy, healthy life with your new pet. Remember, being careful and acting responsibly during the dog adoption process will yield the best results for both you and your new pet.